Hey guys, welcome to Sako's Tech Spot. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your phone as a remote for Kodi. Kodi is a media center operating system. If you did not know, it's really cool. I actually uh, installed it on my Raspberry Pi on this channel. If you want to check that out, um, I'll leave a link in the description and uh, maybe an annotation or something. Anyways, so uh, this is called Yatse. It's a uh, it's spelled like that, Y-A-T-S-E. And uh, I really like this remote over the one I was using before called uh, Core. Oh, I wasn't even in frame there. I'm sorry, guys. So there it is, Yatse. I was using Core before. <laughs> that rhymes. But um, I was using Core, and I didn't like this one too much because, um, well, it was kind of limited after I found out what Yatse could do. To set this up, it's really easy. So um, it's only going to ask you for two things of information here. Uh, you, could, you could search for it, but for whatever reason, my Kodi isn't found here. But I'm going to skip this and I'm going to type it in manually here. So the IP address for my Kodi, and I don't really care if you know this one, 192.168.0.192. And the port's going to be port 80. And I just know that because a web server port by default is 80. And it's going to go ahead and test it. And we're connected. So there we go. There we go. We're connected to Kodi now. And uh, what I like about Yatse is uh, has this trackpad feature which is what really got me going because uh, these buttons on a touch screen they're not really you know you're not so accurate when you're typing about blindly in the middle of the night so over here you have a trackpad where you can swipe up and down now I'm gonna go ahead and turn to Cody and I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can find your IP address if you don't know it as you can see I have Cody up yep I do okay alright now in Cody you wanna go to your system options and then you want to go down to system info and just click into that and go down to network now it clearly says IP address there and you can see that mine is indeed 192.168.0.192 now that is a static IP address that is set up on my Kodi uh, no, yeah, not on my Kodi but on my router to give to Kodi that is a static IP it's not going to change now the reason I have it set up like that is because if you don't have a static IP, your router is going to lease out an IP, and if that IP has uh, you know, met its lease time, it's going to give it a new IP afterwards if uh, Kodi doesn't need traffic and that IP gets taken by someone else. So that's basically what happens. You lose your IP address in the midst of this if you don't set up a static IP. What does that mean for you? Uh, for you, that means you have to go into your uh, Yatse, you have to go down to the settings, or I don't even know how to get to settings here. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, there it is, settings. And then you have to go to manage host, and then you have to click on the host, edit host, and you got to change the IP to whatever your router decides to give Kodi the next time it's uh, giving out IPs. Anyways, to prevent that from happening, we're going to take an extra step, and we're going to set up a static IP address. Now on Kodi, I want you to pay close attention to the MAC address because that's what we're going to need to uh, set up a static IP. And to do that, we're going to go to our router. So I'm going to go to my computer now and we're going to switch over to my computer. And uh, I'm going to just have a screenshot of this MAC address for my, own, uh, for my own sake, I guess, to show in this example. So let's move to the computer. Okay, so uh, in our computer, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our router and you should know your IP address for your router and there we go so this is my login for my router if you don't know your IP address for your router then the first step would be to find that out <laughs> uh, because uh, you do need to go into your router for this one and uh, if you don't know what your IP address is you just go to your router usually under it it'll tell you the default IP and the username password um, so you should uh, be able to get that information fairly easily if you own the router. So here we go. I'm just going. Oh, that's not the password for that. Okay, force of habit there. Okay, we're in. So every router is going to be different. It really depends on uh, which router you have, but it's essentially done the same way. Now to set up a static IP, we're going to go to our DHCP option here for my particular router. Yours you should be similar in a similar location. But we just want to look for address reservation. In address reservation, you're literally just going to reserve an IP address for the given MAC address. So you, you just go add new, you type in the MAC address, and then you type in the IP address you want, and you could enable or disable it. So this is my router. Yours will be different, but it should be very similar, almost identical to what you're going to have to do here. And this is how you set up a static IP. 
Now this IP can no longer be used by anyone else in the DHCP client list here. Everyone is going to have their own IP address and let me show you what's going on. Alright, let me bring this here. So there you go. So these are the different IP addresses that have already been handed out and uh, as you can see they have not used .192 because it's reserved for Cody. And if we go back to our address reservation list then there it is, 192. So yeah, there you go. That's how you set up a static IP. Um, if you did not need this tidbit of information and you just want to change your IP or the IP on your phone to connect to Cody every time, well, you have fun with that. I did it a few times. It's really annoying, and we're not going to do that ever again now. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful. It's really awesome to have this remote handy, especially on all your devices, so you could control Cody from anywhere, really. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.